Quinn was getting that work, like we were doing a podcast, yeah. which will tie into Runestone stuff later, but just we were doing a podcast at the time that ran for about three years from 2009 to 2000, for almost four years. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Almost four years. And so we did about 100 episodes in this like weekly podcast for, for not, it wasn't weekly. I guess we did it, four years. It was almost weekly. Yeah. <laughs> so things got technically <laughs> difficult. And, yeah. So we, uh, but we had done that, which gave him the experience of just broadcasting, managing a conversation, yeah. presenting and talking and clearly presenting ideas. And then also his background of writing story and building narrative right. uh, and his passion for video games. And then it, you tried out for like this uh, an, an interview for the, yeah, for the Disney. So talk job. about that because I, well, I just found this really interesting. So, so our third co-host of the it was the Dark on City yeah. podcast, which was originally done to help promote Runestone, Rune which yeah. was being developed <laughs> again. It's been in development forever. Yeah. Um, but our, so my brother Troy Johnson was also one of the three hosts, yeah. and then he uh, he is still a, an amazing video game designer. So he's the one that actually was working at Disney and kind of helped me get my foot in the door there. Um, and now he's working for Warner Brothers, so just a shout out to Troy, because he's awesome. <laughs> Hi, Troy. <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you can you can pay me later. And uh, <laughs> so anyway, yeah. So um, so that was kind of what helped me get my foot in the door. So I so then I interviewed for some of these this special. Uh, it was basically so so in the Disney Infinity Games, there was the whole half of the game that was like just the straightforward story campaigns built on around certain movies and characters. Mm -hmm. But then there was also the free play mode called yeah. Playbox. And so I was on a team that specifically just built new levels with with all the tools that uh, that the players at home could use in the toy box, and we just took them to the next. I level. I love that your job was to just play in the toy box. Literally yeah. toy box. Well, it was. I was like, how box. is that your full time <laughs> job? This is a guy who teaches drawing superheroes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's true. Well, it was cool. It was really, really cool. Hearing. It's just it's still it's pretty. I, yeah, I it, pretty it was cool. <laughs> So yeah, so uh, so Troy was who helped me kind of get my start in there, and uh, yeah, just kind of. Well, you were saying too. Part of your job though was to be on YouTube oh. representing. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, so that was like that was the thing. So when I was interviewing with the with the guy who a good friend who became my boss, um, you know, we had a good interview, and I showed him some of the comic stuff, and 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 he said originally he he initially was really focused on my story writing experience. I mean, you kind of wanted me to be the, the main writer guy yeah. on the team, um, just just to help tell shape stories for just kind of show that the story, the narrative capabilities of these made from scratch levels that we were just making, just to show players at home that this is stuff you can do. Um, and then and then I was like, and after the interview was over, I was back doing my thing, and I was like, oh dang it, I didn't even mention that I had a podcast. So I went back and I said, hey, do you mind if I tell you a bit more? And he's like, oh, yeah, come on over. So I introduced him to the podcast. And then later he told me that that's what. So you went back and knocked on the door. And you're like, yeah. Hey, I forgot about something real quick. Yeah, yeah. By the yeah, way, yeah, yeah. here's another reason I'm awesome. Yeah. You're like, oh, yeah, tell me more. He's super cool. And he was super chat. He's a super, super <laughs> awesome guy. Good friend. Very, very down to earth. Very cool guy. So. Yeah, so thankfully he was like that kind of a person, and and uh, and he's like he's like I listen to your podcast, and, and he thought it was really funny, which was a relief. And, <laughs> it could have been uh, really bad, so really bad. Right but uh, but he really liked it, and then he said I really liked how you that that aspect of it that I did have some social I don't know social skills is the right term, but but, <laughs> but, but, but just that I but just that I'm you know we talk we talk to people we interview people on the show and all this other stuff. Because that was a big that became a big yeah, part of the we, job. Yeah, we actually did start interacting, interacting with the, for the Disney job. It was a big part of interacting with our fan community and answering questions. And then they had to build tutorial videos. I'm like, hey, here's some cool things you can do. And so I wrote scripts for all those and yeah. helped helped make the videos. And I voiced a lot of the videos with other people I worked with. And so yeah, it was really fun just to just to kind of be a, a fun. I, I don't know, like just a fun person that they can attach to the series and make it not just a. Yeah, so it wasn't just some mystery people in the background. It was they actually had to give a face to some of this product and made right. it tons.